Hello, this is Dave Link to War 3, and we are here for another Let's Play. A Let's Play of Stick War. Sit back and relax for this intro. This world is an illusion. In the world called Demon Morta, you're surrounded by discriminant nations devoted to their individual technology and struggle for dominance. Each society has developed its own unique way to wage war. Proud of their unique craft, they have become obsessed to the point of worship, turning weapons to religion. Each believe that their way of life is the only way, and are dedicated to teaching their policies to all other nations through what their leaders claim as divine intervention, or as you will know it, war. The others are known as Archidones, Way of the Archer, Sodra, Way of the Sword, Magicum, Way of the Mage, and Spiritons, Way of the Spear. You are the leader of the nation called Ordor. Your ways of peace and knowledge. Your people do not worship their weapons as gods. This makes you a mark for infiltration by the surrounding nations. Your only chance to defend is to attack first and obtain the technologies from each nation along the way. And that, that was the intro there, folks. Like, it, it was okay. But anyway, we are going to do campaign. And we are going to do hard mode. Because I did something. War begins. Train units to attack the country of Archidon. To win, destroy the Archidon monument to win. Start. Yep, this is hacked. I already know how to play, so... Now, for this... Um... I will limit my army amount to... To 35. But, but right now, I'll just set the 30. Yeah, the game moves. And a ridiculously slow pace. Anyway, we're just we're just going to destroy his Archidon. He has no way of countering us. Oh, that's one of our guys dead. <laughs> they just run past him and just go on straight to the monument. That's that's amazing. Mm, wreck it. I want to turn that down. You have defeated the Archidons. Congratulations, the Archidons have been pushed out of their homeland and fled to, for the hills. And locked a new unit. The Archidons, of course. Use mouse to aim and fire, use WASD or arrow keys to move. Ah, sure, why not? I have an unlimited supply of upgrades. Oh, what's this? Like, we, we are not at the Swordraft's territory, as you can see. What is this magic? 
You've been ambushed! You have been ambushed by some natives. Hold them off until the sun sets. Not gonna be too overpowered with this one. Just have, like, this. Oh wow, they couldn't stand a chance. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, we're not supposed to be this upgraded yet. In fact, you're supposed to have a lot of trouble with this one. Because, at this point in the game, these guys are tough. And here comes three. Uh, they're getting closer. And now here comes four. These natives basically function like, like spiritons that we're going to see later on. You'll see what spiritons are. You have survived the ambush. You have held your ground in ambush and the ambush has failed. Now continue our march to attack the sword raft. Can't upgrade anything else, let's just get going. Attack the sword raft. The sword raft swords are no match for your basic clubs. Well yeah. Destroy the Sword Raft Monument. Attack. And here we go, it's basically um, destroyed at this point. Oh, are they gonna kill my guys? Oh, they did. And arrows can't really hurt monuments that much. Oh, gotta get a couple more clubmen. Defeated the Sword Raft. Congratulations, the Sword Raft have been pushed out of their homeland and fled for the hills. I doubt this is the last you'll see of them. Wink, wink. You have unlocked the sword upgrade from the armory. So yes, now we can upgrade to a sword. And now that's fully upgraded. Alright, here come the Spiritons. Attack the Spiritan. The Spiritans are, are known as heavy armored, well trained infantry with spears that can be thrown or used for stabbing. 
So against Spiritunes, you want to have a mix of, of Archers and Swordraft. You don't want like one or the other. Attack. You want a mix of both. Because if you have just Archers, um, the Spiritunes will try to block the arrows. Uh, here comes an extra set of spirits and oh god. No, don't focus on him. Attack the monument. Well, looks like the archers have to deal with this. There we go. You have defeated the Spiritan. That was madness. Those proud Spiritans were no match for the might of your empire. Spiritans are arguably the best uh, unit in the game. Like, they have a lot of health and they can dish out a lot of damage. Um, usually it would cost a lot, and oh boy. Is this another ambush? Ah, Sword Wrath counter we see. I'm just gonna use these five spirits just to just to defend with. Well, okay, maybe one archer. So as you can see, there's a set of sword raft there. Um, they're just gonna be set at a time to attack. So at one point they will go and attack. This is just a window of time for you to prepare your your stuff. Like just get a whole bunch of miners out, get get all the gold that you can, and just hope for the best that you can get like a spirit or two. Because that's a lot of sword wrath. But anyway, while this is going on, I might as well like talk about like um, these functions right here. Um, this is the defend action. This sets your units to to defend. This is attack, pretty self-explanatory. And man the fort or garrison mode, where all your units will go at the back of the fort and. The castle archers will defend. This is just a way to keep your miners safe. Oh, here they come! Go, my spitins! Yeah, they didn't stand a chance. And as you can see, there's another wave of them coming in. Did the music just die out? Oh, there we go. I was wondering, like, where is the music? And just, it, it came back on for some strange reason after a long period of time. And 
there'll be a few more. Um, if you're playing the Legacy Edition, like, there'll be a lot more of these guys coming at you all at once. So, it's a lot harder to defend. But you don't have that restriction of, like, only 20 guys per army. So anyway, great defense. Congratulations, you have eliminated the vast horde of swordmen that formed the Sorgraph Offensive. Now to push on to kill the attack and to kill the magic kill. Uh, magic kill. Uh, they are unnecessarily expensive. Attack. Like, look at that, I only need, like, a few spirits just to wreck havoc. And there's just some weird times where they just crouch down like they want to throw their spears. A few sword wrath. Cause they're actually killing my spiritans. Uh Magical, they like to summon minions. Like they're basically weaker sword wrath. And they could stun the opponents. this right here because t because 10 minute time limits and we are back oh boy that's a lot of magic kill that that is quite a lot I need to get a couple archers into the mix. This magic kill is starting to be a pain in the ass. Need to kill a couple more spirits. Maybe a match can take up more than three minutes for once. Because these magical are just stalling. Oh my god, they are stalling their asses off. Oh my god, just kill them already! Okay, looks like this is about over. An 
can- oh, you can actually, uh, take control of one of your units and just by controlling them, they'll have not only more health, but more attack power. Ah, stop killing the miners, they're not doing anything. Looks like I'll have to take it up into my own hands. There we go. You have defeated the magic kill. These wise men were no match for your fierce army. Not gonna use them, but okay. Pertland. Free Pertland. The the Archdons and Swordgraph have teamed up in a ruthlessly ruling over Pertland. Just get Spirits going and a couple of archers, he'll be good. And there's no way they'll stop you. It looks like they've retreated. Slaughter them! And their monument is just two swords crossing each other. Um, kinda, kinda lame actually. It, it's, it's not anything spectacular to look at. Twice as a lot of units. Oh, I might actually need to man the fort for once. the archers. I mean, this game is a strategy game at its core. So there has to be some strategy. But anyway, this monument stands no chance. Uh, at least the minions are- No! Come on, stop t attacking the miners. Ah, 
clever. safe from the sword wrath and Archidon's occupation. Scouts report his spirit is backed by the Archidons infiltrating the, the West Wind countryside. We must now march to free another nation. And here we go, West Wind. Again, you want spirits and archers? Attack. They just have one lousy spirit. That that's not gonna do anything. But they do have a lot of miners. <laughs> Got a couple of archers now in. Two spirits. Attack! Attack this monument! What? I died? Man the fort. Run away! <laughs> they kind of looked like that spear reflected off of the shield. That's amazing. Rescue West Wind. All right, the, the last of the enemy has been pushed back into the barely in, barely habitable lands of the north. We must march on and stamp them out for good. And now we are here in no man's land. 
The natives of No Man's Land are said to be monsters of gigantuan proportions. Destroy the giant's monument. Anyway, here's a giant. Um, they have the most HP of any unit, but but they don't do a lot of damage to um, smaller infantry. But they do a lot of damage to other giants and monuments. However, when he stun, when it, whenever he attacks smaller infantry, he it will stun them. The Giants are the most expensive unit in the game. I kinda want this to get over. So I don't have to face against another giant. Just about have destroyed this monument. Oh boy, here comes another one. Come on. There we go. You have defeated the barbaric inhabitants of no man's land. So there we go, we got all the units here. And what's this? Another ambush? Let me just get one giant here. Now, giants don't act like all the other units, they will go into attack, even if you're in, um, in defend, um, even if you're in defend mode, they will still go and attack the enemy. And look at that, it, like, it, it took a lot of damage from the other giant. And the only reason why my giant survived was because it had uh, had more health. And it somehow did less damage than what the other giant did to me. Anyway, this this ambush is going to get slaughtered somewhat. I mean, at least they're gonna get damaged a little bit. Oh, just barely alive, giant. It 
didn't kill any of them, but it it did do damage. Oh, here they come to attack. Ever so slowly. Spins go! Destroy them, they only have clubs! Wow. Here come more. And, and once again, the music just... I, I, I don't know what's up with this game. Yeah, Arch Archers just kill, um, Clubman slash, um, Swordraft. They, they do a lot of damage to them. And I think this is the last wave. I, I don't know if it is. It very well could be. Okay, there we go. And on to the next level, Ice Hills. The second to the last level of the game. You have found the camp of your enemy's elite leaders. Destroy the elite monument. So, basically this stage is just going to have like a mix of every unit. Just get out there with whatever you can and hope for the best. And they're already attacking me. So you know what? I'm going to do the same and just have a mix of everything. Anyway, once again, the monument is just two swords crossing. It's... It's rather lazy, actually. But hey, this game was made a long time ago. It doesn't matter. Yes, run from us! You have defended the Ice Hills. You have come a long way from your tiny country of order, but Inamorta is now within your grasp. Your enemies have pulled their resources and army for one last stand in the Dark Mountains. 
Be careful, they may have a trick up their sleeves. Here we go. The final level of of Stick War. Let's start this final epic battle for glory, for peace, for order, for no longer chaos will reign amongst in Immorta, but we will win and bring about peace among the land. And their monument is a giant, of course. Because they think it's so overpowered. Now you quickly want to go for defend here because look at that, the, the monument crumbles into a giant giant. Now my giants aren't going aren't going to follow me, but that's okay. Look at that thing. Attack. Now we want to go in for the attack. And there we go, we just been the final boss. And you're greeted to this. And that's basically the game for you. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play of Stick War. And if you haven't yet, click that like button if you would want to. For this helps the channel grow. And if you, and if you haven't already, I recommend you go hit that subscribe button.
But anyway. For I have completed Stick War.